Now, see a Doppler effect in sound. What is actually here the Doppler effect? For understanding this the Doppler effect, suppose you have taken this is a source of sound and here is an observer. So, there is source of sound and there is an observer. So, this, uh, this is producing sound and this observer is listening the sound or receiving the frequencies. So, see here <coughs> whenever there is relative motion between source and observer, the apparent frequency heard by the observer is different from the actual frequency. So, this phenomenon is known as actually Doppler effect. So, now we have to study here what is the freq apparent frequency heard by the observer if the observer is moving towards source or going away from the source. All these cases will be we will be discussing. Simple example is here also you can see here on the road side if you are standing on the road and you will find one suppose car is coming approaching towards you, approaching you and you know producing sound or is no whistling in that case you will find there is a difference in the frequency and similarly if it is going away then also you will notice the difference in the frequency or the sound heard. So, now let us discuss in detail this Doppler effect in sound here. Suppose this is the source let us take another diagram for this suppose there is a source here and here is observer that we can take here listener. Now, in this case source is producing sound of a speed v and there is a medium and we are assuming medium is at rest and source and listener both are at rest initially. Then the wavelength of the sound or you can say the frequency heard by the wavelength of the sound is suppose lambda velocity is v then the frequency heard by the listener here nu is equal to here v upon lambda or we can write here lambda is equal to v upon nu. So, this is actually nu is the frequency produced by the source and it is heard by the listener. There is no motion of the medium as well as there is no motion of the source. Now, suppose source is moving this side with the velocity v s. So, now source is if source is moving with velocity v s towards listener then relative velocity of sound with respect to source is equal to v minus v s. So, this is the relative velocity of sound with respect to source when the source is moving towards listener. So, now in this case the relative distance travelled by the sound in one second is also given by here that is v minus v s. Because of this there will be the change in the wavelength. So, the wavelength reaching to the listener we can write here lambda dash is equal to frequency of the sound is not changing because of the motion of the source. So, here we can write lambda dash is equal to v minus v s upon nu. This here we can take as the first equation. Suppose now listener is also moving this side with the speed of v l. So, we can write relative velocity of sound with respect to listener is equal to v minus v l. So, actually this is the distance available in one second for the apparent wavelength lambda dash. So, now the frequency heard by this listener is equal to we can write here nu dash is equal to v minus v l this is v l not v s v minus v l divided by lambda dash and we can write here v minus v l divided by we are replacing the values of lambda dash from here. So, it is here v minus v s into nu. 
So, this is the apparent frequency heard by listener here and that is your V L upon V minus V S into nu. So, this is the formula for the apparent frequency heard by the listener. Now, see here this frequency can change if the listener is moving suppose towards the source or the source is moving suppose away from the listener or the listener and source are approaching towards each other. So, and also I have taken the medium is at suppose at rest there is no motion in of the medium. Suppose the medium is also moving with the velocity v m to this side, then what will be the formula for the apparent frequency. Now, see if the v m is the motion of the medium towards listener here in this direction, then this formula can be written v plus v m minus v l upon v plus v m minus v s into nu. And see how when the source is moving towards listener s to l we take all the distances positive and when we take l to s we take all the distances negative. So, now suppose the source and listener both are approaching towards each other it means source is going this side and listener is it means source is this side and listener is to this side. Then this formula can be written nu dash is equal to here. I am assuming this one only v m we, we can take 0. So, here we can take v plus v l upon v minus v s into nu. So, this will be the frequency heard here that is called apparent frequency. So, now we have seen whenever there is a relative motion between source and uh, observer or the source and listener, there is a change in the frequ apparent frequency heard by the listener. But now there, is a, there are certain cases which I have mentioned here where there is no Doppler effect. First one when S and L, S means source and L is listener are at rest, then also you do not find any Doppler effect. When the medium alone is moving, source and listener are, uh, are at rest and the medium alone is moving, then also there is no Doppler effect. Distance between S, L, S and L that means source and listener remains constant, it means the source and listener are moving in such a way that the distance between them remains constant, then there is no Doppler effect. And also, when source and listener are moving in mutually perpendicular direction, then also there is no Doppler effect. So, this is about the Doppler effect and now the rest cases when the suppose source is at rest, listener is moving or the listener at rest, source is moving. Everything you can study here by using this formula and in each and every cases you can find the variation in the frequencies.